What's good everybody? It's Michael Walter from StainGenie.net and in this video I'm going to show you a simple strategy you can use to remove paint from carpet. So let's say you're doing a little touch-up paint, someone gets a little bit on the floor, then they track it around spots like this. Now if it's just on the surface, it's okay because you can get some really sharp shears, see if you can find something around the house or get a pair from Home Depot or something, and just kind of graze the top of the carpet there to get that out. If it didn't sink down too deep, you can kind of eliminate the problem just by shedding the top layer and getting it to blend back in. Now it looks like this went down a little further than we wanted, so you might actually have to patch it. That's going to be worst case scenario. So if you have to patch it, I'm going to show you exactly how to handle that as well. So yeah, you look at there, it's still sinking in. We really don't want that. You want a uh, official final product. So let's, let's go over here to this scenario which is very clearly sank all the way into the carpet here. So if the paint went all the way through, it's mashed in the backing, there's no way you could cut it out because you could see it goes on the fibers all the way down. So someone kicked over some paint on your carpet there, you need to patch it in, get you an extremely sharp knife, you can use a utility blade with a fresh knife blade in it. Kind of mark it out. What you want to do here, I'm just going to trace out a couple lines, spread the nap a little bit with my hook knife, We're going to go ahead and get a square that we're going to remove here. Now I'm going to take my blade. I'm going to trace the lines I made with my hook knife. And you could actually use a ballpoint pen as well. And just kind of run it down and it'll spread the nap for you. That way you can cut out the bad area. So all right, we cut it out. And this is a nice thick plush carpet here. Let's cut out. You can see our existing pad below it. Now we're going to take a scrap piece of carpet. It's something that we had left over from the install hopefully that we can go ahead and utilize right now. And I'm going to turn this right on top of it and trace it out here. And this is going to be a rough cut initially. This stuff is so thick. All right, so we got a rough cut done. I'm actually gonna flip the blade because this is where the precise cut comes into play. Get another fresh edge on it. Now I wanna pull the fibers out of the way from each angle and get this piece ready to get lined up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it up backing to backing. Backing to backing. Now I'm going to open it up here and it shows that I need to cut just a little bit off of that there. So I marked it. I'm going to shave one edge off. Drop it back into place. Now on this end, I need to shave a little off of that side as well. So once again, just take my knife, run it down there. Alrighty, so we have a piece that is fit into our hole. So you want to get it all lined up, make sure it's going to look okay with the final product. And that blends in pretty well right off the rip there. So now we need to make sure it's secure and into place. Now typically I would use a carpet seam sealer, but you can even use something just like regular Elmer's glue and uh, use that to glue it right into place. So we're going to do a little zigzag in the middle here to hold it into the padding. And then we want to do right around the perimeter of it as well. That way it'll adhere to the existing carpet. So we got a little in the middle, the whole perimeter is done. Now we got to drop it into place. And remember to keep the fibers pressed back so they don't get into the glue too much and hopefully not at all. And that's what's going to make your seam look good on this. Make sure all the backing's touching. Then just kind of finesse it into place. And there you have it. 
blend it in a little bit, and then once it dries, vacuum it. You know, give it about a day to dry. Hit it with the vacuum so the beater bar will blend in the fibers, and just like that, you got a product that's perfectly matching. Everything's good to go, and that's how you would patch and fix that type of situation. Now, for other stain removal situations, be sure to drop by StainGenie.net. We have a full variety of stain removals for your carpet cleaning needs. Uh, go ahead and head on over there. There's a link in the description, and thank you so much for tuning in.